guess what? I've decided to get a new car. But looking at the prices, a new car is gonna cost an arm and a leg. Welcome to the club. But didn't that decision come out of the blue? Well, yes and no. Remember last week when I was late to Lisa's surprise party? Oh right, you said something about car trouble? Exactly, I was on my way when the engine started making this weird noise. I had no choice but to pull over. Then, to make matters worse, I accidentally let the cat out of the bag when I called Lisa for help, veiling the surprise. You're kidding? That's why she was acting so strange when we all yield surprise? Yeah, I really dropped the ball on that one. But back to the car situation, I figured I'd just bite the bullet and look into something more reliable. Makes sense. Did you see anything you like? I did, but I'm not sure if I should jump on the bandwagon with everyone getting electric cars. Well, they say it's the future, plus you won't have to spend a lot on gas. True, but changing to electric feels like I'd be heading in the wrong direction for me. I don't know the first thing about them. Max, you're overthinking it. Besides, I think we both see the value in saving on gas. It's a smart move. Maybe you're right. It's just a big change. Look, the ball is in your court. You don't have to decide right this second. Do some research, take a test drive. You might find that you like it. I suppose you're right. There is no need to rush with making a decision. I'll take my time. That's the spirit. And hey, if you need a second opinion, I'm here. Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate it. Maybe after all this car shopping, we can finally relax for once. Exactly. Just chilling without any worries or unexpected issues would be a dream.